Hi Capricorn, how are you guys? Welcome to your current status of your love life tarot reading. I'm the Spiritual Barbie and this is my channel, Spiritual Barbie Tarot. Thank you guys for all your support on the channel, your subscriptions and your likes. I've also read your comments. So now that that's all out of the way, you can check the description bar if you want to know more about me and my channel and my practice. Okay, now with all that being said, Uh oh, Capricorn Tower. Tower. This is out of this is this is out of control. Oh my goodness. Tower. Current status of your love life is that there's an explosion happening. Okay? It's around love and how much love you deserve. I also feel like there's a water sign man. He's been loving you, but you're about to realize how much he really did love you or how much he really does love you. Oh my goodness. You've already, you, you're coming from such a happy place though. Okay, you guys are trapped, that's why. Oh my goodness, right now, oh my goodness. Something, something that was up in your life, and you guys, the lights, I mean, the sun is rising. I don't even think it's fully risen up yet. It's super early in the day. And I have my yellow lights on, so the whole screen might be yellow, but you guys, um, and I don't have my other light plugged in. That's the main reason. But anyways, now that that explains that, you guys, something profound has shifted. There is an event that has taken place or that will take place today. And it's so big, okay? And um, this, is, this is out of control. It's about love. And it's also something that was trapping you is coming crumbling down that's the current status of your love life something that was trapping you is coming crumbling down and there's also There's also like some people who these people have been adhering to this. They're also coming crumbling down. You guys, you guys, there is a profound shift in your thought processes that is shifting and now and I'm not even sure how to word this because that's what the tower does. It's shifting and it's like now, it's like not now, but like everything is happy. It's shifting to happiness and celebration. And a lot of you guys are having this profound revelation. You're having your ancestry come forth but just one second you guys this is major this is a profound realization about life and it's about um you know celebrating being happy third party relationships and situations and everything going your way and i feel like this is spiritual yes you also are having this realization because you've concluded a cycle on earth. So, you know, you might have just recently had grandchildren or children, um, you know, received an heirloom, an inheritance, dealing with a home situation. You know, you guys have have many blessings. You see them. You've just received a new blessing for some of you guys. And so now something that was trapping you and making you feel confined or stuck or something that was actually brought about because of 
entrapment is now going away from your life and going away from your love life. Okay, and this is going to look different for all of you guys, obviously. Now, your focus is on your mind being opened. And it's like, it's just on taking back your power to set your own intentions and to just wait. You know, for some of you guys, you might not feel, you know, good enough. And so you give up just before the magic happens or you settle in love. And this is important for you to come out of because you've really been feeling shut out because of this philosophy that you've been having or you've carried. You've been really shut out from the world and you've been experiencing great lack. So in the recent past, you guys were taking action from your heart to do something and also dealing with an emotional man now you're feeling guided to um, let go of something or someone that was causing you a great deal of paranoia or that was stressful, just too much of a burden to deal with. And it's because that was the most grounded thing to do. I also feel like there is a young Taurus Virgo Capricorn person who's also involved in this situation. And perhaps you let go of whoever or whatever this is for this person. Some of you guys, this is for yourself. This is for your health. This is for your journey. You know, this is for, you know, you to just be who you are. Whatever this was, whoever this was, that was stressful and just not really like healthy, not really grounded or normal. They were definitely, you know, making you not really be who you were. You might have just want you, you might have felt like this was impairing you or impacting in some way, you being who you are or who you were even. And so I just feel like a while back, you had something very happy happen for you. And this is important because this is the reason why you're having this profound realization this week is because of something extre extremely happy that you had go on in your life in the distant past. And this was a new beginning that kind of came out of nowhere. It was a new beginning in trust. I also feel like you guys got trust in life and this brought you so much happiness just because you trusted in life. You know, and it brought you happiness and fulfillment because I feel like a lot of you guys, you might've been down in the dumps or not really up to dating, feeling like you have too much on your plate to, you know, be there for your person or to just be there present enough to you know get to know somebody new if that's what you know, if that's what your love life is like you just didn't feel like up to it you probably had too much on your plate you know some of you guys were dealing with something or someone too stressful too unhealthy and toxic to be keep going you know you know everybody's situation is different but i feel like this is allowing for you to be okay and to be balanced, you know, this is not a situation where, you know, getting this trust and faith in life, you might've been in a situation where you had, it was all about love and like, you couldn't make your life about anything or anyone else. Um, or, you know, vice versa, where, you know, it was all about work and you really didn't have time for love, but that's not really too strong of a message coming up here now. It feels like it's the other way. So you guys, in your conscious thoughts and our desires from now to the next time we speak, Capricorn, and that's kind of just what I say, <laughs> okay? Um, it's gonna be on give and take in your love life. You guys are dealing with somebody who they really give to you very fairly. And um, you're also understanding how you didn't used to give to them before. And that's why certain things were going on before that you didn't like. So why is this on your mind? I'm gonna get up and turn off the alarm in a little bit. It just gets so much louder by the second. <laughs> so, you know, this is on your mind because you're getting true bliss. Somebody is giving to you like how you give to them and something or someone. And this is making you feel true bliss. Okay. 
this is what you were wanting. This helps you make peace with the past and get back to a bliss-like state, but also, but ultimately make peace with the past and understand why things had to happen that way. So you're dealing with something or someone, some situation that really values you and nurtures you. And this is good for you. You deserve this. You might have met this person in the distant past, and that was when you started having trust and faith. Some of you guys had a new beginning in passion and sex, and you just trusted this person and you were happy because this person was open. They were not two-faced. This person, you know, they said what they did and they did what they said. And they also had time for you. They didn't overwork themselves that they couldn't spend time with you. So you guys just took action to do something that was really important to you in the recent past from your heart, because this is, this is what you needed to do, okay? This is what your body needed. This is what was necessary, okay, for yourself. Um, and, you know, what this was, was, you know, letting go of something that made you paranoid, understanding what it was that made you paranoid. A lot of you guys are also like, this is like also spiritual and emotional at the same time, what this was. One second. So yes, um, you know, you guys, it's like you have taken action on how, on your emotions, on the love in your heart to, and, and this is a weird situation. There's something here. It's not like, this is something that makes me so paranoid. It might even make you very paranoid. I'm not sure what you did with this in the recent past. I don't even know if you went away from it. You know, I don't know what you did as a result of you being paranoid. Okay, but I feel like it worked out. You might've just safeguarded your relationship. You might've just decided to um, stay in a state of celebration. Okay, so you guys all know your situations. All right, so, um. Capricorn, you guys are, are soon going to receive blessings of love. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. And then you guys are also going to be sharing deep intimacy with somebody. And, you know, your the intimacy and your connection is coming up and it's going to deepen. Okay. So you guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.